a vicious dog hearing uh, for a dog owned by Taylor Smith. A complaint came in on uh, April 16th. The uh, dog hearings are conducted in a quasi-judicial fashion. And what that means is uh, everybody will have an opportunity to testify, uh, call witnesses, produce any evidence, submit evidence, and then you'll be questioned by the uh, select board members. At the end of the hearing, the select board will at some point go into deliberations. It may be later on tonight, and you should expect a uh, written response from the select board uh, within 10 days. It's the power of this select board to determine if a dog is will be declared vicious or not. If it is declared vicious, what kind of uh, stipulations, guidelines would be set down with orders? And it's also within the power of this board to uh, euthanize a vicious dog. So with that, I need to know who will be providing testimony. I know Tracy. Um, and I'm guessing Taylor's phone is probably Taylor Smith? Yes. Okay. Are you Taylor? Yes. And I see someone sitting beside you. Would they be testifying as well? Um, it, it doesn't. Yes, I guess so. He was okay. there. My boyfriend. Okay. Then, then we'll probably have his testimony. Uh, is there anyone else that would be testifying tonight? Not with me. I would be testifying as the other dog owner, but my um, significant partner had to take a week off last week due to the dog attack. So he is not going to be able to be here and he was the one that was bit. Okay, then we will take your testimony. So what I need all of you and Tracy as well is raise your right hand. And I need to be able to see each of you. Um, Taylor, it'll just be me. Okay, okay just you. Yeah. Okay, right. you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you, God. Yes. Okay, the first thing I'm going to ask is Tracy to uh, uh, bring the board up to speed on what her uh, findings were, and then uh, we'll turn it over to. Uh, I'm. Is it Jonah? It's Jonna. Jonna. Okay. I'll turn it over to Jonna and then I'll tail, uh, go over to Taylor. So with that, Tracy, would you please start? Okay. On uh, Saturday, April 10th, around quarter after one in the afternoon, I got a call from Nathan's neighbor who said that Nathan's dog had been attacked by another dog. I told her I needed to hear from him. Um, so he gave me a call. His dog was at LVVS emergency vet. Uh, his dog was outside and Taylor's dog, Taylor was trying to get her dog out of the car and she was trying to get the leash on the dog. Um, she did have a harness on it, but the dog saw the other dog, uh, Nathaniel's dog and bolted past her and she wasn't able to catch him. And at that point, um, Taylor's dog, Stella, attacked Nate's dog, Sparky. Um, I sent pictures of the the fight. Uh, and later that day, I was let known that um, Nate did get a couple of wounds, and so did his girlfriend in the process of breaking up the dogs. Um, I did go to Taylor's house and spoke to her, and I met... Stella, who was very calm, uh, very friendly dog, um, came to light that Stella has a problem with littler dogs, not big dogs. Um, while I was there, a big neighbor's big dog did walk by on a leash, and Stella didn't even really budge, but it seems little dogs are the problem. Um, Taylor's dog does spend half her time in Johnson and the other half in Morrisville with the co-owner, Zach Audette. 
at that time I spoke with Brian, we determined the dog should stay in Johnson because of the quarantine factor. Um, she said Stella was registered in Morrisville, but she was gonna also get her registered in, or licensed rather in Johnson. And Nate stated that his dog was already licensed in Johnson. Since then, I told us uh, uh, that afternoon, I also told Taylor, um, be in her best interest to get a new leash and a muzzle for the dog for future problems and uh, whatnot. And that night, she went and got a new leash, a new harness, and a new muzzle. So she's been very cooperative with everything that needs to be done. And she was very forthcoming with all the information about the incident. Okay, thank you, Tracy. Uh, I didn't hear it, but did you mention if the dog had the rabies shot or not? Yes, okay, yes, uh, both dogs um, have their shots and I was told both dogs are licensed. Um, Taylor's was licensed in Morrisville originally, but she, in the next the few days afterwards, she worked on getting a license in Johnson also. Okay, okay, anything else? Uh, if you got any questions, I mean, okay, I'm gonna uh, let the, everyone testify, and then I'll open it up to board members for questioning. Okay. So with that, uh, Jonna, would you like to share what you uh, experienced? So um, my boyfriend was taking out my dog. Um, I think he was on the front of our steps, and my dog usually runs out off on his leash before. Um, my boyfriend um, gets off the stairs. I was in my bedroom and I can see my front steps from uh, my bedroom. And I heard a scuffle outside and I heard screaming. So I ripped my window open and I, and I, saw, and I looked down and I saw um, somebody on top of a pit bull that was on top of my bloody dog and my boyfriend underneath my dog. So my boyfriend Nate was holding my my dog Sparky with his left hand and pushing his right hand into the dog's mouth um, to keep him from biting down any harder. I ran outside. I tried to get in the middle of it. I tried to lift up the pit bull with my right side. I realized I wasn't doing anything um, that would do anything. And then, um, so I started, I took, I took my hand and I put it to the pit bull's neck and I started choking him until he let go, her, I'm sorry. Um, I do believe that the fight would have been a lot worse if I did not come down and do that. My boyfriend had no ability to unclench the jaw of the pit bull and neither did the owner. Um, I do not think that the dog's a bad dog, but I am concerned and have been approached by many small dog owners and little children, um, their parents have come up to me and are worried um, about this dog in particular um, because of what happened. Um, so I do worry about that a little bit, but I don't think the, bad, the dog is a bad dog. I just think that there should be some stipulations put into place so that this event doesn't happen. And if it doesn't, even if it does happen, it, it's not worse than what it, it was. Okay, thank you. Anything else? Um, no, um, just that Taylor um, approached me. She was, she's been very cooperative with me and, uh, and uh, we've been working together in terms of bills and stuff of that nature. Okay, that. Well, thank you. And Taylor, would you like to uh, state for the record your side? Of the event um, call. So um, last Saturday, well, two Saturdays ago, I guess, um, we, my boyfriend and I and two of our friends had gone down to Journey's End. Um, and I always have Stella on her harness and leash. Um, and we went in the water. Um, so her leash was soaked. Um, so I had taken it off in the car, which I normally do not do. She's normally leashed and harnessed. Um, anytime we're not inside of the apartment. Um, but when we got home, um, I was going to leash her and we had parked in our driveway. We normally park closer to the building with other cars in between us. Um, but
but we parked on the end that day. Um, and when we looked over, I was, I had, so her harness, her old harness that got broke, um, hooked in the front. So I was hooking in the front and I didn't hook it in time. And she saw their dog. Um, there was an SUV in the driveway and it came around the back side of it. Um, and then when I get over there, um, my boyfriend Taylor um, and Nate were on top of both dogs. Um, and um, when I get over there, I Stella has lockjaw. It's a pit bull thing. And so I put my right hand in the right side of her mouth to release it. And the only thing I really remember is yelling she's off she's off and then everyone dispersing um and um and then sunday i did end up bringing stella to the vet um because she was acting off um and she did get punched in the head a couple of times um not by anyone's fault i'm just trying to get her off the other dog um and she ended up having a broken tail. Um, I've had Stella for two years. I adopted her from South Carolina um, and I haven't had any, any issues with her. Um, in her adoption paperwork, it does state no cats. Um, and that's strictly because of the, the testing they do in the shelter, I guess, um, with what animals she can and cannot cooperate with. Um, so I don't know if it was a factor of their dog being so small. It looked like that to her. Um, she was found in the streets, so I don't know, um, why, the, why they said no cats, um, with her. Um, and so when Tracy came over to see us, um, Stella, I brought Stella straight upstairs after the fight and put her in her kennel. Um. And so when Tracy got here, um, she did ask to see Stella and I said, that was totally fine. Um, so I did bring her down um, to see Tracy and Tracy asked if she would bite. She's, she never bites ever. Um, she would rather give you kisses. Um, sorry, <laughs> getting a little emotional. Um, so I've never, really had an issue with her um, until that day um, and my mom was here when Tracy got here and my mom I didn't want to leave Stella um, so my mom immediately went to Barry and did purchase a new harness that goes over her head instead of over her shoulders so you have to slide it on her head she can't get it off um, and then it goes under her and over her back and it hooks in the back um, we bought two new leashes and we did get a muzzle if it is needed. Um, I have tried it with Stella outside. Um, I had to drag her down our three flights of stairs because she wouldn't walk with it on. Um, and then when we did get outside, she just stood there and wouldn't go to the bathroom um, until I took it off. Um, she is friendly with other dogs. We have other friends that come here with dogs. Um, the downstairs neighbor, Caleb Weatherall, they have a Dalmatian their best friends. Um, she can hang out with Chief any time of day or night and there's no issues. Um, so I don't really know what made her react like that, but it's not something that's usual for her. Um, like I said, I've never had any issues with other animals with her. So um, I guess that's what I have to say. Okay, thank you. Okay, at this point, I'll open it up to board members for any uh, questioning. Any board members have any questions of either uh, Jonna or Taylor or with Tracy? I don't have any questions. Both seemed very thorough, so I appreciate that. Okay. I like the fact that both parties seem to be getting along with each other. Um, Taylor. Um, Thanks for being here. So when you walk 
Stellar, when she goes outside, is she always leashed? Yep, yeah. Um, so her harness before this one um, was an e easy harness and um, she always had it on. Um, I normally do her collar and her harness. I don't leash her collar, I leash her harness. Um, just yeah. so I have better control of her because she is pretty strong. Um, but yeah, she's always leashed. I won't go outside without her on a leash. I do have a, a question for Taylor. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, if that dog really bolted uh, again, is there any possibility that the dog could actually get away from you again? Is that is the dog that strong that if it snapped, it could snap the leash right out of your hand? No. So when I walk her, when she's on her leash, so this is an instance was different. Yeah, so um, I understand that. Yeah. But when I walk her, um, I can control her. I can pull her. I can move her. I, I can direct her in any direction. Um, and when I walk her, I put the leash loop around my right wrist, which is my dominant wrist. Um, and then I, I just hold on to it that way. Um, and then occasionally I, um, like if we're walking down the street or something and I have excess leash, I just loop it up in my hand, but I can, I can control her. She's not that like overpowering me by any means. Um, right. And I did not mention in earlier, um, but I have contacted um, Ian with Vermont Dog Trainer um, and his assistant, Melissa is actually calling me back tomorrow so we can get Stella in some more basic trainings um because all i've really done for training with her is like the training with the rescue and um so i just want to get more stuff under her belt okay well of all the dog hearings i've had in the over five years uh, i don't think i've ever seen so many people so proactive uh, in any kind of a situation like this and and usually both parties are are really ticked off at each other and it's kind of refreshing to see two people trying to work this thing out and i really appreciate it i don't have the experience but i certainly respect the you two working together and both of you being very receptive to communicating and fixing problems you see i think this is the easiest one i've ever done <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. It's, yeah. uh, we're on the same page, Tracy. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Is there any further questioning? And if not, I would uh, end the hearing and we will go into a deliberation. I'm not sure if we got about 10 minutes before our regular board meeting. We could start deliberations. And uh, if we're not finished, we can come back around to it later. But uh, for Taylor, you should receive within 10 days uh, whatever the findings of the board is. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you all for being here. And uh, thank you. Talk to you later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.